Welcome back, everyone. Today we're looking at the special edition from Universal National Lampoon's Animal House from 1978, written by the National Lampoon's crew, Harold Ramis, uh, Doug McKinney, uh, what was the other one? Chris, Douglas McKinney and, and uh, Chris Miller, directed by John Landis, of course. It's, you know, probably one of the biggest uh, college comedies and biggest comedies I think ever. It's definitely up in the top ten of the best comedies. This is a movie that's kind of like waned. My interest in it has waned over the years. I'm glad I own this version of it, though, because I like these clamshells that they're doing. Out of these Universal Special Editions, I have this one, and I have uh, American Graffiti, which I think is somewhere in the house. My brother stole it years ago to get it signed by one of the people in it, so we'll probably see that one on this channel at some point. Uh, this movie is obviously really funny. No liner notes on it, because it's not Anchor Bay. Uh, I like that. Again, I like the, the black clamshell package. This movie's great. Of course, you got Tim Matheson... Uh, John Belushi, uh, the guy who played D-Day, Flounder, I forget all these people's names. Uh, was it Steven, not Steven Dorf, Steven First. Uh, and then Amadeus himself up there. Great soundtrack for its time. You know, it's kind of quintessential for the 70s. Kind of the start of the, kind of the frat boy humor movies that we, we had in like the late, set, late, late 70s, early 80s. A lot of stuff we don't really see too much anymore. Um, this edition came with a CD. The CD actually comes in the back like that, but I just took it out the other day. It's one of those weird shaped CDs that they used to do for a while that they thought were cool, but as it says here, do not put in a dashboard jukebox, like in your car, because it won't come back out. Um, I don't even know what song is on here. Uh, so here's a promo for the soundtrack. It said Louie Louie, Sam Cooke stuff, Otis Day in the Night. So definitely up there, one of the top comedies ever. Of course, you think of this, you think of Caddyshack, you think of other movies, Stripes, you know, all the great stuff from the late 70s and early 80s, back when these guys were, were on top. I still, to this day, like, I work at a dog place, and I have a couple dogs named Otis. So anytime I see one of the dogs, Otis, running around, I always go, Otis, my man! And since everybody who I work with are, like, 20 years younger than I am, none of them get the reference. Uh... Great movie. It's not one that I watch a lot anymore because it's kind of like, I don't know, just I've seen it so many times you don't really need to watch it anymore. Kind of like Blazing Saddles. <laughs> but it's a fun, cool edition. I do want to try and track down more of these Universal Special Editions. I, I forget right now what all they released this way. I think like The Sting and something else. But there's some special features, behind-the-scenes stuff, and promos for that Special Edition series that I, I have ripped and you'll see on this channel or on my other channel, the VHS rip. Uh, were you guys around in 1978 when this came out? Because I know I wasn't. Have you seen it subsequently since? You figured this would be one of the, that a lot of places like uh, Lamo Shit House would show as like a movie party or something. But uh, who knows? I always forget Donald Sutherland, Nancy Allen, some good people. All right. Uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this flick. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.